World 6 difficulty 3. Are you guys ready? Ooh, hyper. We can run a hyper Sela here, guys. Uh, so many to do lists. Yeah, I have too many things to do, man. Too many things to do, man. Also, guys, planetary uh, planetary rendezvous is really good. All right, guys, for your uh, for your Tingyun, for um, Jingyan users. All right, planetary rendezvous. So, all right, hyper Sela, guys. Let's go. Should be able to destroy Cocolia. World six difficulty three. My hair is still wet, but it's tied in a ponytail in order not to get any under your headphones. Damn. Wait, your hair is that long? You can tie it up in a ponytail? Damn. Wait. Oh, shoot. So it's just a Branya. Too much to do, guys. Too much to do, man. How much damage? Boom! Boom! Oh god, my wallpaper engine crashed, guys. It's been crashing a lot, actually. Alright. I need some hunt cards. Damn it. Give me those hunt cards, baby. Yeah, guys, I think after this, I'll probably end the stream. I think it's uh, getting a little late. <laughs> so um, I'm going to finish up World 6 Difficulty 3. Then I'll probably call it. We'll do one more Welkin slash ESP. Then we'll be back tomorrow, guys. With some Genshin. And some Honkai Saru, guys. Between shoulder blades, more like the lower half of them. Ah, I see. I see, just Samurai. Yeah. What a great stream, though, huh, today, guys? <laughs> oh, man. Where is... My hunt cards? Quite eventful, yeah. Quite an eventful stream, you know, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we got a lot of stuff to level up, so I think Sushang's Light Cone first tomorrow. Um, uh, Tingyun, her light cone, Planetary Rendezvous, or the other one? And then, um, uh, Branya, uh, Bailu, Japard, then work on Traces. Oh my god, so much stuff to do, man. Then after all that is done, guys, then we farm Relics, right? Yeah, that's a smart play. Hopefully by then we can also clear Memory of Chaos, roll, um, Floor 10. Tuning into this conversation? Which conversation? If I put them over my face, I can't see anything. If even Sun can't get through. Damn, you have that much hair? Sheesh. I got a haircut recently, guys, and it feels so good. Sometimes when my hair gets too long, it gets kind of annoying. I don't know how girls do it, guys, when they have, like, such really long hair. How do you guys, like, put up with it? <laughs> Like, I have to get my hair cut just to feel better. <laughs> like, when it gets too long, it's just like... It's not even that long. It's like, it's just like... But it, it just, it's just kind of like annoying, you know? Like, it's all over my ears, you know? Jeez. I got a haircut like two months ago or less and I want another one. Yeah, it, it's so hard to deal with like, long hair, man. It just feels annoying. Not that I wish I can go bald on those extremely hot days. Yeah, yeah. Just like, like, even like the simple act of like, putting on your glasses, or putting on like, uh, your headset, and then it's like the hair is all over your ears. It's just like, oh my god, dude. I, that's why I went to get a haircut, because I was like, it's gotten kind of long. Once you get through the middle ground, it's okay. Yeah, I think when it gets like super long, it's easier to maintain, because you can just tie it up, right? But when you're like, when you're in the middle stage, it's like kind of annoying, because you can't tie it up. You know what I mean? My hair reaches my mouth, I just slick it back. Oh, you don't tie it up? Really? My hair is way too thick for the hot weather I live in. Even if it's short, it doesn't even reach my eyes. Oh, damn. And your hair is still too thick? 
Yeah. Ooh, nice. We got it. Hell yeah. The best the best one, guys. Robe of the beauty. Robe of beauty, guys. Hell yeah. Dude. Now we don't even need to spend any more cosmic fragments. Makes this easier. I have problems here, but I was too lazy to do anything with it. But now, since it stays on my back freely, I don't mind it. Yeah. So you just let it flow in the back so it's fine. Yeah. I, I, I see now. I see now. That makes sense. My hair is kind of long, is it? Yeah, is it getting like to the point where it's kind of annoying, RK Skies? Because that's when it's the worst. I have a tight still, I only untie it when I go to sleep. Yeah. But yeah, guys, when I say like long hair, my hair is not even that long. It's just that it's so, it's not long, long enough to tie up, but it's not short enough to just like slick back. You know what I'm talking about? That's when I get a haircut. <laughs> I just use claw clips and scrunchies. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there is a time during the uh, COVID, like during, during the pandemic, right? Where like you didn't want to like go and get your hair cut because you're scared that you'll get COVID, you know? That I actually, my hair was kind of growing out a lot. So I, I used like a, yeah, a headband thing. So it was like a headband with like uh, little dips or divots in it. And I'll just put it up and it really does a good job of like keeping your hair out of your face. I used to wear that too when I was when I didn't want to go get my hair cut. I can tie my hair back, but I just don't want to. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, as long as you're comfortable. It's just that sometimes it just gets out like in the way. You know what I mean? And that's when I get a haircut. <laughs> All right, guys, we're almost there, man. The final world six stage three. Long hair is actually convenient to cover my ears since they're sensitive to the cold. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Definitely, if you live in a, in a cold area, you have your hair to be like your insulator, you know? I'm getting, cutting my hair since I was 15, so I just cut it whenever I feel like it. I mean, do you, Cass, do you have like super long hair? Because I, I can imagine like cutting super long hair is easy, right? Like, let's say you're, you're like, you keep like super long and then you just cut it, right? Like, you just, you literally just like bring it over your shoulder and then you cut it, right? Like... Or do you like tie it up and then cut it like together? Like I don't know. I, I can imagine it's like a little easier, but if you have like kind of short hair, it's harder to cut your hair. I think. I just get undercut so only the top grows, and when it gets hot, I don't feel hot. Yeah, I get undercuts too. I like having like t uh, uh long on the top and then short everywhere else. Like it's kind of like short everywhere and then long on the top. That's what I do too. It's so that your hair doesn't get too thick. And so it's like, I call it like a ballooning, you know, like when your hair starts to balloon when it gets too, too long. So yeah, I always go for the, the undercut as well. Cause like, you don't want that balloon effect, man. Like when I was growing up, my parents always got me haircuts that were like, just like, just like straight up, just a haircut, no undercut, nothing. And so when the hair gets like super long, your hair starts to like, get like really thick on the top. And then it looks like really funky, man. And so now I just get undercuts every single time. Yeah, the balloon effect, right? It looks like a balloon when it gets too long. And so, now I get undercuts no matter what, like... Did you grow up with a buzz cut? No, my parents didn't really give me buzz cuts, but sometimes we'd cut it short because they want to save money, right? They don't want to keep going back. And so sometimes I'll get my hair cut pretty short. I keep it short, I have an undercut and it's machine to do it, and the top I just snip... Oh, you have a machine to cut your hair? Really? I just get straight up haircuts like once a year or two times a year. Yeah, you must have like long hair then. I get haircuts like every three, four months. I think. Three, four months. So four times a year, maybe? Three times a year? I don't, I don't know. Something like that. Oh, I don't need that actually. I need this. Because I'm not buying any cosmic fragments. Fade me up. Yeah, a nice fade, you know, like... That works too. Yeah. I think Guzzi likes a fade too. 
Might get to the afro mode when I play with it. Yeah, afro mode? Damn. You're close. My hair is close to mid black back. Oh, close to mid back. Oh, so that's pretty long. Yeah. That's pretty long hair then. Yeah. So I, I can imagine, like, cutting that hair is pretty easy, right? Like, I think you either, like, just cut it or you, uh, you tie it up and then cut it, right? Because I remember when my sister got a, 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 sh a haircut, all they did was tie her hair up and then cut it. <laughs> like, they tied it up and then just cut the ponytail off, you know what I mean? <laughs> and of course, they, they cleaned it up after, you know? They, not, not cleaned it up, but they, they made it look better after. Once my dad bought the machine to cut the dog's hair, but we liked and kept it. Later, we bought a human hair one and finally gave the other one to the poor dog. Wait, this is a machine that cut your dog's hair? That sounds kind of dangerous. Alright, guys. We're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Who are we raiding tonight, guys? Ooh, I know who to raid, I guess. I think I know. Yeah. Alright. There's an automatic Edward scissor hands? What is that? What is those automatic hair cutting machines? 100k burst? Yeah, 100 166, you know, sometimes. It's because of the of the cosmic fragments, um. Uh uh Curio. All right, guys, we should be able to clap Kokolia. Yeah. We should be able to clap her now. Ready, guys? <laughs> E6S5, Sila. Pop off, baby! Edward Sissan is a character played by Johnny Tat. Oh! We ran out of credits on HSR. I know, right? Dude... Arkery, are you gonna start farming credits? Because I think farming for credits is probably the worst thing you can do. Like, I thought XP... If you think XP books was the worst thing you can do, but farming for credits is probably the worst thing you can do. Ooh, 200k? Oh my god! She just destroyed that health bar in one turn. Oh my... You buy the credits in the shop? Oh, like the, the whaling shop? Really? Uh-oh, we're frozen. Uh-oh. Just don't freeze everybody, you know what I mean? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Quickly, Sila, I need your help. You need to destroy her. Sila, I need your help. Damn, look at half of the hunt, am I right, guys? Alright, right here. She's gonna destroy her one hit, ready? Boom! Oh, not yet. What? 2% left? Oh, there you go. Nice. Final phase, baby. I also bought about 800 credits from the shop. Damn, you guys are whales! Holy... I thought only whales buy credits from the shop, guys. Uh -oh. We're frozen. Everyone's frozen. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Just you? Yeah, dude. I'm not a whale, bro. I'm free to play, guys, by the way. <laughs> Alright, break it. Oh no, wait, we're hitting her. Oh, rip. oh she. Wow, she got. Who, Branya, who guys? Branya just got clapped. Oh no, we're dead! Oh my. Oh, we're good. Wait, hmm, we should be okay, right? Oh no, we're dead. Oh, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Oh. Guys, that was World 6. Ooh, we got 10! 10. 10 light lost up.